In today's video, I'm gonna show you a device that is USB-C that has HDMI output to a monitor that can be used with your Galaxy S8, S8 Plus, or Note 8, or even Nintendo Switch. Let's get started. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett where I help tech work for you. This is the Waffalo Type-C HDMI adapter. So in the box here, you have a little card that tells you how you can get help if you're happy or unhappy about the product. But then here is the device. So all that comes is this little unit. So here's the device itself. Right here we have a USB-C that allows you to plug into your phone or the Nintendo Switch. Over here we have the input that requires USB-C and you can use your phone's power cable or another USB-C cable that you have to power that. On the side here we have the two USB and the HDMI output and then over here we have one more USB. So this little device is really small, really compact. You can even set the USB-C port right there so you can easily pack it in a bag and uh, take it with you and then plug it in anywhere else as long as you have the proper cable. So let's get it set up and check out how it works. First, I'm gonna plug in the USB power cable. And then if I wanna plug in my mouse, here I have a little USB mouse dongle. And then here I'm gonna plug in the USB for the keyboard. Then I'm going to plug in the HDMI. Here I'm gonna plug in my Galaxy S8 Plus. And then there's even space where I can plug in, say, a USB flash drive as well. All right, now that that is all plugged in together, we can see that we have our mouse here on screen. I can open up applications. Here I have the apps drawer. I have recent apps. So it looks like everything is working the same way that it did in the deck station. If you wanna see a full tutorial, make sure you click the pop-up on screen. But here we can go over, we have our notification panel on the right bottom right here. And then we have all of our different apps. So let's open the My Files app to see if the flash drive is working. And if I go down here, I see the USB storage is there and I have a video on that and I can just open it up and it's gonna play the volume right out of the Galaxy S8 Plus. And if I want to pair a set of speakers or whatever to the phone, I can do that and then you'll have the sound coming right out of the device right now. The performance right now has worked just like on the Galaxy DeX station, so that's pretty great. So another option you have instead of using Samsung DeX, so right down here in the notification bar, I can click this little notification that says using Samsung DeX, tap here to switch to screen mirroring. So when I select that, it then turns into screen mirroring mode. How this works is now I see my full screen over on the monitor. So the screen can be a monitor or a TV, whatever has HDMI input. And then here you can see that when I use the device, you have a very crisp, clear uh, navigation of the phone. It is mirroring exactly what I'm doing on my phone over there. Let's say I want to go and watch a video. So here when I click the full screen button, it pulls up the video right there. So it looks like I'm not hearing any sound because there is no audio output on the monitor itself. So if you're using this on a TV, you should hear the audio just fine. But video looks great on here. I can go back home. And then if I'm using any application that needs to rotate the device, when I rotate, you'll see it automatically reorients with the screen. So you can see all that up there on the top. And then if I'm playing my own video, uh, very smooth, really quick. So this device works really great. And instead of playing on both, it's just going to play up there on the monitor. If you are using the stock video player to play a movie, you can leave the application and keep using your phone while the movie plays. But if you're using Netflix or any other video, it will close once you leave that application. So while you're using the phone, if you wanna go back into the Samsung DeX mode, you just pull down the notification bar and then here you have tap here to switch to Samsung DeX. So I select on that and then it will automatically go into Samsung DeX. And during all of this, I do have access to my mouse and keyboard. So if I want to go into an application, I can open this up and let's say I want to search for Note 8 S Pen videos. I can open that up and I have all the options there, the keyboard worked. If you get a text, it will pop up on screen. You can text back from it. If you get a phone call, you can answer it and it will play the audio right out of your phone. And you can do all this all with one account. It will just be the same voice. So it does look like when you are in the Samsung DeX mode, you do have the audio output coming right from the phone. 
but when I was in the mirroring mode, I wasn't able to hear the audio. All right, so let's now try my Galaxy Note 8. All right, so it loaded up just fine. Let's open up a game and try that out, see how it works. So if you open up games on the S8 or Note 8, they will open up small like this, but on the Note 8, you do have the new game launcher option. So you can open this up and then you can play games and they will load in full screen. So here we're gonna play Galaga Wars. You can see that it opened in the full screen application and then you can go through and play the game. So performance is great on this. Really the only difference between using the Wolfalo uh, USB-C and the deck station is that it has a nice dock to sit into as well as a fan that kind of cools it off itself. So this device is really nice. You do get that third USB port, which would be handy to have on the deck station, but this has it for a better cost. So there are three big things that I look for whenever I am reviewing a product is one, does the device work? Yes, this works great. It did exactly what it's supposed to do. The second one, what's the price? Uh, the price on this right now, I think is around $60. Really great price compared to the $150 that you may spend if you're going to buy a Samsung DeX. And the third one is, is this user friendly? Was this easy to set up? Yes, it was very quick to get this plugged in, uh, get it all set up, and then it instantly went into the Samsung DeX mode. There wasn't any confusing setup or settings that I needed to change, it automatically worked. So those are my three things to look for whenever I do a review of a product, and this definitely passed. Now this does support 4K output, so if your monitor has 4K, it will display in the 4K. The only problem is like the Nintendo Switch doesn't have 4K output. It does really high quality output to the device. Make sure you go and check this awesome little device out in the description below, and there may be a discount code uh, right now depending on when you are watching this video, but you have all these different options. It supports up to 1080p with the Nintendo Switch, and it's really easy to set up as you saw. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If this video helps you out, please give a like, and if you have any further questions, please leave a comment below. And if this is your first time here, I'd love for you to subscribe so that you can be notified of my new and upcoming videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.